shout out to Greg. Greg, thank you for your request and donation. This is Dream Theater, The Glass Prison. I'm kind of really excited because this looks very different. Six degrees of inner turbulence. Okay. to say something I am gonna have to pause this frequently you guys know a lot of things are going on with YouTube um, I do not own this this music that being said I wasn't sure what to think about this at first I just heard static when you hear that static that noise that white noise I guess it is all sound that's what I was told which is really neat because I sleep with that it puts me right to sleep um, and then all of a sudden it just had this really crystal clear guitar and it sounds very very I almost want to say blues but I don't know was crazy um, it went from like this bluesy kind of just singular guitar all of a sudden to a kind of a boom 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 and then it was drums it was just like everywhere and then it turned into just full-on metal drumming and then guitar I don't know enough you guys I just am saying what I think is happening uh, which is already exciting enough it really is it's I don't know it's just so very different. It's, it's so different. Who needs a wife when you have dream theater? Who needs anything when you have dream theater? Explain this, atheist. That's hilarious. Thought I would share this. I'm a 26-year-old, oh yikes, alcoholic from America. Went through hell drinking and I honestly should have died from it. Haven't drank in two years, 11 months. I'm, pr I'm proud of you, dude. 3.5 hours, yes, it's accurate. When you're a complete hit, 
before Blackout Alcoholic, you keep very exact track of how long it's been. Every time I listen to this song, it gets a bit clearer. Thanks, Dream Theater. You guys have helped me more than you'll ever realize. You guys are my favorite band, bar none. Well, wow, William, I hope you see this and you keep pushing, man. Please. Oh, I'm so sorry. I keep thinking. If you guys ever see a thumbs down, it's probably from me and I apologize because I sometimes I think it's the heart because I'm so used to hitting thumbs up and heart, thumbs up and heart, that sometimes, hello, I'm not on my channel. Duh. At 5.53, is that even legal? 307, Pikachu evolved. Came here for the sweep picking. Hmm. This has a sick beginning. Progressive masterpiece. What a coincidence. When I started this fit, the bell of a church near my home began ringing. This is where... Oh my gosh. Did I go here? It was here. Okay. I just want to make sure this goes out with no problems. Oops, I went too far. This is where a legend began, 12 steps sweet. At 940, I hope that base was over 18. 555, holy ass, I broke my spine from the headbang. Petrucci is a beast. Top five guitarists of the 21st century easily. Images and Words is the best DT Dream Theater album, no question. Me. No, it's not. I don't know what to say about that. Absolutely my favorite song of all time from anyone or any band. Dream Theater is the music I want played at my funeral. You know what? I can respect that. Personal top ten Dream Theater songs. A Change of Seasons, Learning to Live, Trial of Tears, Octavarium, Home, Scarred Metropolis, Part 1, Voices, The Glass Prison, Breaking all illusions. Open your eyes, Nicholas. Wow. Masterpiece track. In fact, this is one of DT's best albums, in my honest opinion. All right, well, let's go. Go back to Smidgey. A place where I can go to forget.
not sure if that was a good spot or not but I have a feeling there's gonna be more singing because we got a lot of time left dream theater masterpiece track in fact this one this is one of DT's best albums in my honest opinion who needs creatine or pre-workout when you have the glass prison that's the truth for some reason here in 2019 this song seems more powerful than me among the sickest drum segments, period. After almost a year listening to It's Time to Listen to Real Music, It's Good to Be Back, Getty Lee pokes his head into the studio to offer a rebuttal at 7.01. Okay, that bass in the beginning, simply one of the best songs from the best progressive rock metal bands. I love the last chorus at 12.50. I'm listening to it on repeat, and the broken glass noise at the end is so cool. 5.25 in my darkest hour, Megadeth. Really? Wow. 525. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's go back just a little. A little bit more. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs>
hold on. Before we go into that guitar solo, let's take a little wee break. A little wee break. Because, wow. This is just going from amazing to epic fast. No, Brazil, 2005. Credit card haul. Ibram, uh, I'm not sure what that says. This is the first song I've heard from Dream Theater 16 years ago. Still my favorite. This song has almost too much flavor. It's utterly insane. Yes. Everything about this song is great. Dream Theater never manages, manages to disappoint. They are legendary. I feel like they are one of the best bands to ever grace the earth. This song is astonishing. I'm really not a progressive guy, nor do I listen to Dream Theater often. But this song is just too good. I actually tried cinching or syncing this album with Hannah Montana the movie, made for one interesting experience. I bet. The lyrics, instrumental, the voice, this is what music should be. Corey in the house. This is probably the best song of Dream Theater, maybe Panic Attack, at least for me. 2019? You know it. Let's go. Let's go. gang hold on guys all right here we go
one second left. Holy... First of all, I have no idea if this is going to get out or not. I'm, I'm kind of positive, but at the same time, I'm not. This was like a metal guitar, and then all of a sudden, like, it was a piano or something, it, or a keyboard, maybe. It went hard AF. I mean, when it was really time for metal, it was metal. Drums, everything. It was just full force. I was like, okay, I thought I was asleep, but not now. I don't even know what to say. I mean, it was incredible. So, thank you, Greg. I... I don't even know what to, I thought it was just, uh, I didn't know Dream Theater was so, um, had such a variety, like, yeah, I knew they could do classical and mix it, <clears throat> but this was very different, totally alive, totally <clears throat> just ready to kick butt, and it was metal, and it was drums, and it was guitar, and it was... 500 miles an hour. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. It is 5.30 somewhere. Morning, you all.